I get up awfully early to go rabbit hunting. It's gonna be a cold one. It's 13 degrees out today. You guys ready to go? From Somerset County to Westmoreland County. On a flake of snow, temperatures in the 30s. It's beautiful, it's like a spring day. Meet these hunters. We're gonna get some rabbits, cause I need to make some hossum pfeffer. What do you think? I think I'd be out here all, a lot earlier, but Scott <laughs> doesn't want to get up early, so I'm here at 9.30. <laughs> Let's go get them. What do you say a dollar per rabbit, we bet? I can't jump on that quicker. <laughs> You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> Got one gentleman here, Dave Pezzi, hunting with a bow and arrow, a long bow for rabbits. <laughs> this will be good. <laughs> All right, let's go kill some rabbits. Let's go get them. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Oh, there's a dollar from Craig Shalednik. I might even throw him the rabbit to carry for me. <laughs> They're all meat. It takes me a long time to earn a dollar. <laughs> Retirement. You want a chew smock? Oh, of course I do. A little old, wait, it should be mail pouch. I like Golden Bland, Red <laughs> Man. I buy the good stuff, unlike you. <laughs> I just missed another one. Hey, what are you shooting at, Doc? Rabbit. Shooting with the longbow, dead rabbit with an arrow. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Seeing anything, Jason? Huh? <laughs> Killing anything. <laughs> we got one dead with a 410. Good shooting with that little gun. Watch up, Jack. I knew I should have taken that left coin of Albuquerque. This is a... Today we had seven dogs. Me and Scott both shot one, so we don't eat chat. We own it. No money out. No money, money exchange. Out. It's a wash. If I'd have won, that'd been the sweetest dollar I ever got. But he's lucky to cook rabbits. Awesome pepper. <laughs> Okay, Chef's going to show you here how to fill. He already fill dressed it in the woods. Now he's going to show you how he skins it. Get it ready for the table. I like to start in the middle. It's a little different for than deer or anything. There it is. Skin off and just rip it both ways. Somebody blew the heck out of this one. <laughs> I only shoot mine in the head, so that wasn't mine. It's the best time of the year from the day after Christmas until the end of February. It's rabbit season. Rabbits. <laughs> Today we're going to make a classical dish possum pepper. Bugs Bunny like. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to do is clean the rabbits, cut the meat off the bones, 
And these are some of the ingredients that we'll need. To make Hassenpfeffer, which is an old German dish, it's rabbit that's braised in like a red wine with vegetables and lots of herbs and uh, seasonings. It can be served with spatzel, which is like a German noodle, or <laughs> um, German noodle dumpling. I think we got some potatoes. <laughs> or oven roasted potatoes, maybe we'll do today. <laughs> and uh, calls for shallot, which I don't have any, so we're gonna small dice some onion. That's the redneck shallot. The redneck shallot. <laughs> the rabbit can either be left bone in or you can bone it completely out. Um, you can dice the meat or leave the whole bone in. We're going to dice the meat because it's easier to eat then. We'll just start prepping the marinade because it's got to marinate for a while. So Dave's going to prep the marinade while I prep the rabbit. Breaking it down in all the different muscles there, Scott. Yep. Taking your back legs, meat off, front leg meat. These are the loins of the rabbits. Comes from right here and here. So like back strap on the deer. Correct. You wanna be careful, you can tell these are fresh rabbits. We're still, I'm still, didn't do a good enough job of soaking on them, still pulling BBs out of them from our hunting experience. <laughs> So I'm gonna, I got the rabbit meat all diced. It's in nice large chunks. It's not a perfect dice. I'm now gonna toss the marinade ingredients in with it. <clears throat> So we want the bacon crispy, so we're getting pretty close. So now I'm gonna throw the onions in and sweat them. If you put them in too early, they'll be mushy. Okay, Scott, these uh, onions are starting to get see-through. See-through is not the word, it's translucent. Yeah, see-through. <laughs> they are soft and see-through. So they're ready, so you can take that off. And as you can see, we're letting our rabbit marinade for about four hours. You should marinate it overnight, or you can, at least four hours. We ain't so, waiting that long. We ain't waiting that long to eat. <laughs> we're eating sooner. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take, in four hours, we're gonna take this rabbit out of the marinade, a little at a time. Dave has taken the bacon and onions out of the pan, so we've got lots of nice bacon fat in there. And we're gonna start to pat this dry. We're gonna dredge them in flour a little at a time. And Dave's gonna put that over the heat. And we're going to, this is uh, seasoned flour with salt and pepper, it all's in there. And then there's still a lot of the seasoning, marinade flavor in the meat. And we're gonna sear these just to light golden brown before I get a pair of tongs out of the drawer, the magical drawer. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan or put too much in at one time. We have all the marinade in here now. Dave has seared off all of the rabbit nuggets <laughs> and got a nice little, you know, nice brown color on there, some caramelization. And they were dusted in flour, so that flour should help thicken this marinade a little bit. But we're gonna simmer them for an hour, hour and a half until they get really fork tender. And if they were on the bone still, like sometimes you can make this with, like I said, with the, you know, cut the rabbit into four pieces and it'd be on the bone, you'd cook it till the meat was falling off the bone. I like fork tender. Fork tender. That's fork and excellent. <laughs> so we're gonna get that. So it's enough liquid to cover the 
the meat and we're gonna cover it with a lid and turn it down to a light simmer for about an hour and a half. When are we putting the uh, onions in? Onions and bacon, these are gonna go in after we simmer this and lightly thicken the liquid and then we'll finish it with the bacon and the caramelized onions. Yes, we don't overcook them. Right. Um, what is our video staff, editorial staff, getting paid to do? That's our grip crew for us. We're not getting paid. <laughs> You're on camera, though. <laughs> Doing a puzzle. Hey, so Scott went to the bathroom, so now it's Dave's cooking show, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and what do the Irish do best? We do potatoes. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do a potatoes, uh, steak fry. Some people call them wedges. Some regular seasoning, some of Scott's homemade barbecue. Some Italian season, some regular old seasoned salt. A little olive oil, throw them in the oven, roast them for about half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, we're done with everything. Dave's stirring in the bacon and onions. The rabbit's nice and tender. Mixing that up. We're ready to plate that up. And our taters are done. Oven roast potatoes. Oh, it does have a tiny taste. The Make some noodles. You ready to plate up? We're ready to try our possum pfeffer with some oven roasted potatoes. Raised in red wine. Mm. Wow. Wine gives a really sweet flavor. Mm. Mm. Can't beat that rabbit either. Mm. Jason makes breaded rabbit nuggets, which are awesome as well. Is this a rabbit that you killed? Mm -hmm. I believe it is. <laughs> Taste the freshest. <laughs> Ollie did good work. Amen, brother. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> I told you I'd get you, didn't I? Fell for my twap, didn't you, Mr. Wabbit? <laughs> Too smart for you, wasn't I? I finally caught you, didn't I? Uh-oh.